what's going down a push peeps we have a quick video for you today but a very important one this one is going to focus on technology and transportation during the market revolution things that are specifically mentioned in the new curriculum so make sure you are familiar with it before we begin it's shout out time shout out to several classes we have mr wince class from bay city central Fischetti's class, Mr. Barnes class from OBI, and Mrs. Splain's class. Thank you all so much for the support. I can't tell you how much it means to me, and best of luck to you all this year, as well as everybody watching. You want a shout out for your teacher? Leave it in the comment section below. All right, let's start off talking about what the heck is the market revolution. Well, it's a revolution in transportation, farming, and production of goods. We see an increased use of canals, roads, steamboats, and railroads during this time. We also see a switch from subsistence to cash crop farming. So no longer are people growing food just to survive off of, they're growing it to sell. And we also see that goods are produced increasingly outside the home. So we begin to see a switch towards factories. And this occurs prior to the Civil War, which is antebellum America. The word antebellum means prior to the Civil War. Okay, let's talk about some transportation improvements. For roads, we have the Cumberland, or the National Road, and it originally went from Maryland all the way over to Ohio, and it since was added on a lot more, stretching all the way over to Illinois. And this was funded by the federal government because it connected two or more states, and that's an example of interstate. So the federal government, there's gonna be lots of debates during this time, should the federal government provide funding for transportation? The federal government will if it's an example of inter or two or more states. So if it's just one state that benefits from it, chances are the government will not. But if it's many states that benefit, two or more, then they will. An example of an intrastate project is the Erie Canal. We see lots of canals popping up, but none that are more important during this time than the Erie Canal. It is 363 miles long and it connected Albany to Buffalo. And here is the city of Lockport near Buffalo. It's about 20 minutes from my house. Here is a depiction of Lockport named after the locks on the canal. This was paid entirely by New York State because this is intrastate is within one state. The original plan called for the federal government to fund it and James Monroe vetoed it because it was only within the state. He thought it was unconstitutional. Now eventually the Erie Canal is going to connect New York City via the Hudson River all the way over to the Midwest. Another improvement in transportation we have is the steamboat. And here's a replica of one of the first steamboats. And it was really became popular due to Robert Fulton. And this allowed boats to travel against the current. No longer did they have to go downstream with whatever direction the current went. Now they could travel against and goods can be shipped in multiple directions. All right, let's jump over to agricultural improvements. We have the cotton gin invented by Eli Whitney, and this drastically increased cotton production and the demand for slaves in the South. And what the cotton gin does is cotton has these seeds in it, and you would put the cotton into here, and this machine would separate the seeds from the cotton itself. And what we see is this gigantic explosion in the demand for cotton and the amount of cotton that is produced. The steel plow is invented by this dude, John Deere, and this allowed farmers to break soil more easily and begin planting. This is especially beneficial to farmers in the Midwest who would focus on growing wheat. Another invention is the McCormick Reaper, and here is an illustration of it. And farmers could harvest crops more quickly. And the key thing to think with all these inventions, inventions is that efficiency is going to increase. For the McCormick Reaper, the efficiency of harvesting will increase for farmers drastically. All right, let's jump over to technological improvements. Interchangeable parts, we have Eli Whitney again. Here he is. He is really credited with interchangeable parts. And what this does is creates cookie cutter parts. I use this analogy. If I ask you to make a, a star-shaped cookie, your star-shaped cookie may look a lot different from mine. And what an interchangeable part does is it makes all of these look identical. So if I give you a star-shaped cookie cutter, all of your cookies would look the same. So this will allow goods to be produced with identical parts. And this leads to the mass production of goods and increased production and efficiency rates, especially for things like guns and other forms of manufactured goods. We have the telegraph, which was used to communicate Morse code, and here is Samuel Morse. And in 1844, we have the first transmission, and the first transmission said, What hath God wrought? And that is also the name of a Pulitzer 
prize winning book. I suggest you check out that's all about this time period and this drastically increased communication in the United States. So information is spread much faster. That will play a very important role during the Civil War. Generals can now communicate with Abe Lincoln in the White House and transmit information quickly. All right, let's go over some test tips for multiple choice and short answer. No specific inventions and be able to explain the impact, especially by the region. So know that the cotton gin, for example, had a drastic impact on the South, especially as Manifest Destiny is occurring and the U.S. is expanding. Know that interchangeable parts will have a large impact on the North in factory. For essay topics, this could be a part of a broader essay about the market revolution and regional specialization. Again, what inventions benefit the North? North, benefited the South, and benefited the West. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you check out other videos in the description that relate to this time period. And best of luck on all your tests this year, especially the one in May. Have a good day.